Building connections and creating a distinctive team culture is far harder when your team is working remotely. So as a team leader, you need to take the lead to ensure that your team is communicating well. The first thing you absolutely need to do is to engage with individual team members frequently. And that's very easy for the people who happen to work in the same building as you do. So you need to discipline yourself to use the technology you have or to travel if appropriate to get to know everyone equally and to spend as much time with each individual member, regardless of how distant they are from you physically. It's far too easy to create a two tier structure to your team and that will have a huge impact on the culture. Remember that people are looking to you as team leader to set the culture. And a large part of the way that a team develops its culture is it takes it from the style and cultural values exhibited by its leader. Regular and frequent communication helps people to build connections. It helps to develop the culture. So the rule has to be little and often because across different regional, national cultures, communication can be difficult and strenuous. Therefore, keeping it to low levels and building the culture through the frequency is the ideal solution. The other things to be aware of are timing. Communication may be comfortable and convenient for you, but for other people, it may be at the very end of the working day or possibly just before the start of the working day. And then, of course, there is language. Clearly, the team will have a prevailing language, but that may not be the first language for everyone in the team. And therefore, you have to be patient and make sure that everyone can understand. Short weekly team meetings may seem less efficient than longer fortnightly team meetings, but by and large, they will be more effective. Culture doesn't only come from the group interactions. It also comes from individual interactions. Think about the right way to do this. Set up regular one to one meetings and encourage colleagues to meet one to one. Perhaps pair people up or create small groups of buddies that can communicate to collaborate. Think about the impact of a range of different technologies. Don't just use video calls, but use perhaps synchronous or asynchronous messaging services like Slack or Yammer, or if you absolutely have to, email. But if they start to dominate, then people will see each other as just a name, a label and personal relationships will start to get damaged. The general rule is in-person is best, but where you can't have in-person meetings, simulate them with technology. And all hands get together will clearly beat video conferencing, but video conferencing will be telephone and telephone will always beat email. And when you do use video conferencing, keep your meetings short and structured. Make sure everybody knows what's going to happen, what's expected. And if you can, record the meeting if it's appropriate or at least circulate notes. However, a formal meeting will create a certain element of culture, but it won't build connection. Real connection comes from people chatting. So my tip is to invite people to join the meeting early and to stay beyond the meeting. A half hour meeting might be scheduled into people's diaries as a 50 minute meeting with 10 minutes at the beginning and 10 minutes at the end where people can chat with one another, catch up, perhaps use the text so that you can have multiple lines or perhaps use group room functionality, which now comes with many virtual meeting room software tools. And finally, a great way to build a culture is to determine what's really important to you and to celebrate when people make contributions to that. Recognizing what people do and how they do it and their contributions is vital for reinforcing the culture that you want. Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and in the meantime, keep learning.